everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and today we have another episode of what's for dinner. This one in anticipation of Easter dinner. But I'm starting to give you some ideas because I know a lot of you are probably thinking about getting your menus all ready. And today I have a real treat. This is a delicious crunchy Parmesan pesto crusted chicken and it is going to knock your socks off. I just guarantee. I can't wait to dig into this and show you how it's made, so let's go see how this all comes together. We're going to go over all of our ingredients for our crispy parmesan crusted chicken breast and this is super easy and one of the reasons I'm making this is as a suggestion for your Easter table. If you're going to be cooking for a lot of people this goes together really fast. It can be made ahead and popped in the refrigerator before baking. It only takes about a half an hour to cook and then you can have this on your Easter buffet in no time. So it's a really good no fuss no muss dish. I'm starting off with two pounds of chicken breast and I have filleted them, meaning I've cut each chicken breast into two cutlets the flat way. And I have a video on how I do that. I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to go check that out. It's super easy. You just need to have safety and a really sharp knife. The other, we're going to build our crust. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to brush this with some pesto. Now this is prepared pesto out of a jar. We're going to brush each chicken breast with some pesto and then we're going to top it with a crusty topping and as it bakes it's going to turn delicious. And that crusty topping is going to have one cup of panko breadcrumb, one cup of fresh shredded mozzarella, and one cup of Parmesan cheese that's grated. We're also going to add some olive oil to that blend and some seasoning. I have some Italian seasoning in here, some dried basil, and some cracked black pepper. Not adding any salt because the parmesan is plenty salty already. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break, clear this, go grab my baking sheet, and then we're going to give this a start. Okay, let's build our crunchy topping and our well, it's crunchy and cheesy. I just get a bowl and we're going to put all of this goodness in the bowl together. The breadcrumb, the parmesan, the mozzarella cheese, and of course it's going to stick in the bottom. <laughs> I have to... Uh, Go slow so the hand can get in there. Just get in here and if you're using pre-shredded mozzarella, that's fine, no worries. You See if you can get whole milk mozzarella though. I know that I can buy it um, pre-shredded at one of my grocery stores, Harris Teeter. And um, so if you can get whole milk, that would be preferred because it's gonna give this a really beautiful, rich taste. But if all you can find is the uh, part skim, then I totally get it, and it's going to be just as delicious either way. But get in here and mix these up together because sometimes that mozzarella has a tendency to kind of clump together after you grate it. I'm going to toss in all of our seasonings, give that a good toss. You can do this with a spoon, you don't have to do it with your hands. I just find that it's for me, you get a better idea if everything's blended really well with your hands. And like Nanny used to say, hands were made before forks. I have about a quarter of a cup of olive oil here. We're going to toss that in there as well. And you want to make sure that's tossed really well. You want to make sure everything has been touched by the olive oil. And that's how hard that is. Now I, I went ahead and I've lined my baking sheet with some non-stick aluminum foil. Regular aluminum foil is fine. Don't worry. Um, and we're going to take our pesto and we're going to brush it on the chicken breast just like this. You want to use about a tablespoon or so per chicken breast. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it spread on there as evenly as you can. Voila! Now we're going to take our topping and we're going to evenly distribute that on top of each piece of chicken to which we have spread the basil um, pesto, the basil pesto. Then what you want to do, go around and give everything a gentle press, just like that. Oh, and the, the non-stick foil, I also spread some olive oil on the foil. My, um, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees and we're going to pop this in there for 25 to 30 minutes until the chicken is cooked through or a meat thermometer reads 165 degrees. I'll bring you back when these come out of the oven. All right, there is our cr crunchy Parmesan chicken breast that just came out of the oven and I cannot tell you how good it smells in my kitchen. 
smells amazing and I can't wait to eat dinner. So what I'm gonna do now is go fix you guys a plate so you can see what this looks like and we're gonna force Rick to have a taste. You have to. And there you have it, our Parmesan crusted pesto chicken or Parmesan pesto crusted chicken, whatever you call it. Don't call me late for dinner, honey, because this is just going to be delicious. Um, this went together so simply, as you saw. It baked for about 30 minutes, and it's just perfectly done. And you can make this ahead of time before you make it ahead before you bake it. You could just wrap it and pop the tray in the fridge. You can have a whole tray ready to go, and then you just pop it in the oven for a half an hour. And while you get everything ready for your Easter buffet, then this is going to be ready to go in no time. I am pairing this tonight for our dinner with some roasted lemon um, lemon asparagus and a bow tie pasta that is simply dressed with some roasted garlic pasta sauce and that is our dinner tonight so I think that Rick might be a little anxious to give this a try mm, you have to you hear how crunchy that is yes. oh my goodness look at I'm gonna just take another little piece here cuz I want you guys to see how beautiful this is. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's moist. Oh, so pretty. So let's get to get you a piece from here. Oh, so beautiful. Ready? What do you, what do you think? That is a treat. Shazam! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Seriously, that's wow. that's amazing. It's perfectly seasoned. And I think maybe some of you are going to ask me why didn't you put any garlic in there? There's plenty of garlic in the pesto. It's all there. The garlic, the basil, and there's enough salt in the cheeses. And that cheese with the panko breadcrumb made such a perfect crust for this chicken. Oh my it gosh. It really is perfect. You know what, guys? This would make a lovely crust for a tilapia or um, a cod fish, it would be delicious. It would even be good on a boneless pork chop. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. That is how you make a delicious crusted Parmesan pesto chicken breast. You can make these in advance. And like I said, you can make them in advance before you bake them. And you can even freeze these. And then you can just bring them out, thaw them and bake them and they'll be delicious. So awesome. So I hope you give these a try. I, if you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. and. If you are new to my kitchen, I would like to welcome you. It's always a pleasure to invite new friends in and meet them. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. If you are already a Trot and True member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please remember to hit the bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this Parmesan pesto crusted chicken breast a try for Easter or any time, and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.